Stairway to Heaven Arena never gets old. I love being here in Purgatory. And if you love Full Metal Mayhem, you might just want to spend the rest of your life here in Purgatory. I'd rather take the elevator to hell than spend another minute here. I bet my left nut on their last home game and literally lost half the family jewels in the transaction. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. <laughs> and it's first and ten. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. First and, long. and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. First down in a mile. up nine yards on that catch. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, oh, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And I think the ginormous guy is compensating for... And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five.
And it's first and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. Second down and nine. Hit. Third down and six. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. <laughs> Third down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great catch. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, he'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the binoculars. Well, I thought he was going to make it. Yeah, so did his coach. Someone get that shotgun away from him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Then I'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second down and four. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and eight to go. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a jump. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes 
right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had sewn on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down and two. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That's a four yard gain. Third down and eight. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. And the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's 
It's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and forever. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expand. What a hit that was. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Married a little Swedish midget lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Well, at least the, I think that's what I did. Second down and more than the QB would like. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up third and one. He had it for a second there. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. The kick is good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And so, that's the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. And he picks up two yards on the catch. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Time 
Thorpe dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the arm that it would be earlier. I let one rip. I mean, a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's when small talk is really put to the test. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. And how about a little dirt sandwich? Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they? And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. run there picks up the first down and it's first and ten oh that was a big hit hey bricks i bet you took a lot of shots like it looks like we've got a penalty here When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Perfect pass and the score! These aren't just regular aliens. They are criminal aliens. They have a lot of moves besides dancing. I had a rest that had checked the wallets. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company, Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he picks up.
Picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third and four. And he laterals the pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First down and five. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. <laughs> And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Monty finds his head. He'll be okay. Third down and nine. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called six. The kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Second down in a mile. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, he just got crushed. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt. And oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. First down! And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep him guessing. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall down.
And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. <laughs> no one was going to stop him. That's two points. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. <laughs> ah, and he laterals it and picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. Second down and nine. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And 
it's first and ten. First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Five yards. Second down and five. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Third down and long. Almost intercepted. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense had that our shrinking pill. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. One in for the first down. <laughs> and the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Previous play 
thing never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. with the brain scrambler. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll be their final timeout. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. The way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Scores handily. You know, an alien culture dancing is a form of battle. And they celebrated their best citizens by making too many moves about them. It's a fascinating culture. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. They could not connect on that play. Throw up the horns and throw up the W. Full Metal made him win. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. Man, talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need fine blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors. Don't you, Grant? No idea what you're talking about. Let's hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy.